I'm here to tell you, he's the Lord. He's mighty in battle. Oh, my God, he's strong to deliver, strong to heal, strong to bring you out. I don't care where you at, what you've been through. God is a deliverer. He said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. And surely enough, we've been through a lot this past year. We're stepping over 2024. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Think about what you've been through. He's that same God in 2023, 24. He will deliver us out of them all. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress, I'm not gonna worry about that, I'm not gonna lay on lean on that. Lean not to your own understanding. But in all my ways, I'm gonna acknowledge him. Lord, I'm acknowledging you today. I'm acknowledging you today. I'm asking God three o'clock in the morning, go before me, God. Take up, take over. And whatever thing ain't right, you're gonna work it out, you're gonna fix it. And when they fight, they're not gonna fight against you. Mother Bowman, they're going to they fight against God. You say what he say. You stand on the word. You preach the word. You say what he say. Be my mouthpiece. And I, whatsoever is right, I will take care of it. So that's how the spirit you got to come. You got to walk in the strength of God. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. He said, be strong in the Lord. He's tougher. <laughs> he said, be strong in the Lord. In the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles, the devices, the attacks of the enemy. Ephesians 6. Let's go to it right quick. That's what the Lord dropped. He, the Holy Ghost dropped that one. I told him to speak to me. I told him to speak to me. Speak to me. That's what he said. That's what he want me to tell you. Amen. Praise God. Ah, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Be, ah, glory to God. So we ain't going to let nothing discourage us, nothing stop us, nothing hinder us. I'm determined. I'm, we're going get to get everything in order here this 2024. We're going to get the mics right. We're going to get the, everything right in the church. We're going to get everything right. We're going to go forth and do battle against the enemy because that's the one that fights us. He fights us to stop. He fights us to stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing. Let me, put this, let me throw this in here. Stop you. Let me throw this in here. Block you. Let me throw this in here. You know, but I'll let nothing. Huh? Shout out. I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. I've been through a lot this year. I've been through a lot. You know, my husband's gone. Lost my husband. Lost different things in my life. Props I thought I was leaning on. They all gone. But the Lord said, look to me. Look to me. I'm the author. I'm the finisher of your faith. Look to me. Ha. Ah. See, he says, 6 to 10, finally be strong in the Lord. Finally, my brethren, my sisters, be strong in who? The Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Armor yourself. Armor your mind. Armor your heart. Armor your spirit. Don't be this, so wild that I disquieted. Why are you head down? Hope thou in God. I'm looking to heal. I'm looking to the hills who come with my help, knowing that my help come from the Lord. What you looking at, sister? Boy? What you looking at? Everything. I'm looking to the hills. I'm looking at him. I ain't looking at you. I'm looking at him. If I look to you, I may fall. I may fail. But I'm looking to the hills. But we've come with my help, knowing that my help comes from the Lord. He will not suffer the, the, your feet to be moved. He will not, he that the sleep of the slumber, he will not suffer your feet to be moved. He won't cause you to fall or under. He that keepeth the Israel neither slumber nor sleep. He, holy, 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 holy. Be strong in the Lord. Walk in his strength and the power of his might. Put on, put on, put something. Sometimes, sometimes there's a leak in the armor. Sometimes you kind of let one armor go. You let the shield of faith go, the sword of the spirit go, which is the word of God. Sometimes we don't pick up the word like we should. And sometimes the enemy come in because he see that, that you're not protected. You're not protected all the way because you don't have that word. But I dare you to get that word down on the inside. And the word of God said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, the sword of the spirit will come up and say, no, devil, you ain't stopping this. You ain't blocking this. Devil, you are like, I, come, I told Satan, get thee behind me. <sighs> you don't see these holy angels about to fight, fighting for me? You better get behind me. You don't know what, I'm, what, what, what I brought with me. I brought my armor with me. You better, you better, you don't know, you better ask somebody. <laughs> you better ask somebody. Some have tried to fight and they came and they, and they had a hard fall because I'm fighting the true fight of God. I fight against the enemy that comes to war against your soul. It's not enough just my soul, but the assignment that I'm giving. I got to protect the sheep. I got to take on the armor of God. When you take on these titles, you're taking on something, something great before God. <sighs> you're, taking on the, you're taking on the fight, not just for my life, but for Sister Keisha's life. For Sister McMullen's life, I got to pray and war for you all. You know, I'm, I'm up not just for me, my four and no more, but I'm praying for you all that God bring you all through. And the enemy comes in to bring attacks, but I'm up there throwing my body over you, Tammy. 
in the night. I'm praying, God, bind the devil, bind his works, his plans. He will not have her. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. We are that church, and the devil can't take you out because you got somebody praying for you. Maybe more than me. I don't know who. Maybe you got 100 more, but I'm one of the ones that's praying for you. Sure enough. So be strong in the Lord, the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. I don't have this written down. You see, I don't have no notes. I ain't opened my book yet. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. And having done all to stand. After you did everything you think you could stand there for. Sometimes you stand, El Pastor Eric, you don't even have the words right then and there. You just showing up. And the Lord said, just show up. Look at the children of Israel. He, he commanded them to go to the battle. He said, just show up. Show up to the battle. What he fought the battle. You, he looked around and saw dead bodies all around. He said, because he said, you had no need to fight this, but I just show up. Just show up. I'm going to fight the battle. So she showed up. Lord, you something else. Oh, God, what a God we serve. He fought the battle for us. You don't no need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand still, and see the salvation of God. Because I'm fighting against the war. We're not wrestling against a natural enemy. It's, we're not wrestling against the flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. And the enemy wars and fights and distracts and come against us because his whole aim is to get you alone, to get to attack you, to take you out. But unto him that's able to keep you from falling. And he said in his word, if I'm for you, I'm more than the world against you. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Somebody, somebody, this is this, that mother boat fight. Somebody say, somebody, somebody say, who is he? Who is he? Wait, where he at? Who is he? Who is he? Where he at? Come on, wait. Mother, you can't go. Who is he? Come on, wait, he out there? Listen, one time they, they, my, my grandson called and said, police is out here, right on my block in South Holland. Police out here. They came out here to get me. I said, where is he at? I want, ran on the back of my shoes. Run up. They said, what, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? Wait a minute, what y'all doing? Un uncuff him. No. 70 years old. No, 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 not on my watch. Where you going? No. Uh-uh, not on my watch. That's the type of war you have to do. You have to be yeah. vigilant. You got to be warring. You got to be determined. That I'm not gonna let no nothing take me, take my, take what God give me, and I'm fighting a good fight of faith. You may not understand. You may, I may look strange to you. I may look like, but I'm in war position. But the devil cannot have what God is taking. He will not take what God's taking. I take back. I take back what the devil has stolen. Everything. I take back. I bring back your peace. I bring back your joy. I bring back the joy, because the joy of the Lord is your strength. And the enemy comes against you, he'll try to come and take your strength. He'll try to take your peace. But I command, decree, declare, command the day that your peace shall return. The word of God says, great peace are they which love thy law. And nothing shall offend. So when the enemy come in, devil, get behind me. I got peace. I lose the peace of God in your mind. I lose the peace of God in your heart. Oh, my God. The joy of the Lord is my strength. No, devil, you can take my joy. No, 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 no. I told Satan, get thee behind. No, no, no. Whatever be, be. You know what? We going on with the Lord. We marching up King Zion. We marching up the hills of Zion, that beautiful city of God. And we going we gonna to march courageously. Because why? We are warriors in this army. We are warriors in this army. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not carnal. They're not yeah, yeah, yada, yeah. They're not carnal, but in the spirit, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds. And we pull down every stronghold, every device, plot, plan of the enemy. We pull it down. We decree and declare and command we're going to be triumphant in him because he made us to be warriors. He made us more than conquerors through him. A lot of times you don't know who you are in Christ. You don't really know what you got. Uh, come on. He gave us all the armor, everything we need. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against powers, against the world's forces of this darkness, against spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore. You did everything you can. You don't know what to say. What do I do next? Go to the house of God. Just stand. Don't you sit down. Just watch, watch, so don't you sit down there and mope and, and have a pity party. Get up from there. 
Lord, tell me one time, get up from there and go to the house of God. But God get up from there. He didn't, he didn't come to me with some soft words. It is, okay, baby, you just lay there. Uh-uh. He said, get up from there and go into the house of God. And when I went into the house of God, I received my strength. I received the presence. I received because we're, we're two or three gathered together in my name. He said, I'm in the midst. So when two or three are here, God is here. He's in the midst. Maybe you can't see him, but the Lord is here right now. He's in the midst, and he's moving by his power. Therefore, take the full arm of God that you may be able to, stay, able to resist in the evil day. These are evil days we're living in. These are last days that we're living in. We're in the last of the last days. And the devil fighting tooth and nail to try to take the saints out. He already know he got a short time. He already know he got the devil, his, his angels. He got them. But he's trying to pick, pick, pick the saints out. But if you know who you are and stand on the word of God and be strong in the Lord and say, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to resist the devil. He got to get up off of me. He got to flee. And I'm going to fight. I'm a war. And this king of glory will come in. And he'll make his abode with you. He'll live inside of you. Ah, who is he that can harm me if I'm following that which is good? Did I feel this way this morning? No. <laughs> I just walk in the strength of God. If I see something, something out, of, out of whack, or something, I say, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen, we're going to do, we're going to get this, we're going to get this through. The devil ain't going to stop the word. He ain't going to stop what we're going to do here. Not deliver his press any. It ain't going on here. Go somewhere else. Go to weak church, because maybe over there, we don't know, <laughs> wherever they are. But you ain't coming up in here because I'm in a war. I'm in a war for the souls of God's people. I'm in a war for doing the will of God. So you got to put on the whole arm of God that you can stand in this evil day. Having done all to stand, stand there for. Having your loins good about with truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith that you can be able to fight all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Having a shot, the, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition, after you have all that, this is to all, take up the shield of faith. Which, is, which will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Yeah, I'm reading Amplified. All the arrows that the enemy will throw against your mind, against your heart. This ain't right. What about this? Why did this happen? Oh, why me? Sometimes God knows how much we can bear. He said there's no temptation taking us for such as is common to man. But the word of God says God is faithful. My God is faithful. He ain't no weak back church. He ain't no weak back saint. He's faithful. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that that you're able, but and with the same temptation, he'll make a way of escape. He'll show you there's a way out right there. Come on that way. Sometimes it's, some, cause sometimes it's coming to the house of God. That's your way of escape. So you got to know what you got. And then you'll be able to quench the flaming arrows of the evil one. So the enemy, got to, he got to cease. He got to cease fire. Because we conquerors, we're fighting, we're in a warfare. And I'm not going to let nothing separate me from the love of God. I'm not going to do it. I'm in, I'm, I'm in a warfare. I'm in a warfare mode. Take on the helmet of salvation, the helmet of salvation. The reason you got to have the helmet, because the enemy come against your mind. Sometimes we come against your mind. Sometimes thoughts and things come against your mind. Then it, can, it, can, it can incapacitate your spirit. It can make you just come down and just say, he fights your mind. just make you just want to lay down and don't do nothing. But yet will I praise him while I live in the sanctuary, in the, among the saints of God. If you don't have no praise, hold my view. Let me let you give you something to hold. Because I got a praise on the inside. I got to get it out. Who? Ha! Oh! I got to get it out. I got a praise on the inside. And I got to get it out. So hold my mute. If you can't praise him, let me, let me give you the mute. Let the, let the little tired mute sit there with you. <laughs> and I, wow, I can praise God while I live. Because he that is mighty has done for me great things. That's that helmet. And as you praise God, this is this. Pastor Bowman said this too, and I know it's an actual fact. When you praise God, that's your weapon of warfare against your enemy. When he come against you, I dare you to muster up a praise. I dare you to muster up a praise. You know, we're going to do something radical right now. Everybody stand to your feet. Come on, let's do this. Kicker. Let's do some bodily exercise. Come on, stand to your feet. I'm going to show you how it works. Glory! Glory! Can you give them a little praise? Glory! Glory, 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 
Glory! Ah, glory! Glory! I refuse to sit down on God. And I refuse to let you sit down on God. I refuse to let you miss your blessing. So we have to do it in unison. Sometimes it's strength when we do more than one. I can't praise him. Well, look, we all gonna praise him with you. Come on, let's praise him. Hallelujah! Glory! Glory, 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 glory. Glory! Glory! I hear this song. I hear this song. If God has done nothing for you, sit down in your seat. But if God has done something for you, stand up on your feet. I'm gonna clap my hands. Child for joy. Shout hallelujah. Show sure been good to me. If God has done nothing for you, sit down in your seat. God has done something for you, stand up on your feet. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hallelujah, show sure been good to me. Woo, glory, glory. I love to praise him. I love to praise his, I love to praise him. I love to praise him. I love to, I love to praise his hope. Oh, he's my rock. My rock, my rock, my sword, my shield. He's my will. My will, my will in the middle of the wheel. I know he's never, never, never let me. He's such a jewel that I have. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise his name, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise his name, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise his name. I love to praise his holy name. I hear another one, I hear another one, I hear another one. I get joy when I think about I get joy just to think about. I get joy when I think about. I get joy when I think about. Oh, God's not dead. Oh, God's not dead. I can feel him in my hands, feel him in my feet, feel him all over me. What you think about Jesus? Oh, what you think about Jesus? What you think about Jesus? What you think about Jesus? Joy when I think about Joy just to think about You can't praise him, let me praise him. Oh, if you can't tell it, let me tell it. Oh, if you can't praise him, let me praise him. Oh, if you can't tell it, let me tell it. Oh, God is a good God. Oh, God, you're a good God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know he is. I know he is. I know he is. I know he is. Woo. Woo. 
glory, glory, glory. Oh, he's a good God. You can be seated if you can. You can be seated if you can. If you can, be seated. Some may not can be seated. Uh, glory. <laughs> glory. You know what we go through in our bodies? I'm laughing because I'm laughing because I got the victory over the devil. I'm laughing at the devil because I got the victory over him. I, I couldn't even hardly move this morning. <laughs> devil, look at that. You can't stop me. Uh, you try something else. It ain't working. Uh, so that, it ain't working, Sanderson. Ha! Glory! Woo! Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Because as you praise God, you're defeating the enemy. You tell the enemy, you can't take this. You can't take my praise. You can't take my joy. You can't take my peace. Oh, my God. Woo. Glory, 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 glory. I was in a place, I was, I was so afflicted after Lee James. That's just how afflicted I was. I couldn't even bring my son to love to play drums. That's how I flipped it. But you know what? I said, James, I got to go. I got to. I, you know what? I know I got to do all that for you. I can't do all that for you and do that for me. <laughs> One of us got to go. And you can't drive, so I got to go. <laughs> Here come next week. But, you know, sometimes afflictions come in your body. But the word of God says many are the afflictions of the righteous. And he'll bring you out of, oh, he just dropped this in my spirit, brother. He said, I'll change that vile body. Ooh, 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 ooh. He said, one day I'm going to change your vile body into his glorious body. So while we're in this flesh, sometimes we have afflictions, we have pains, we have things we go through. But you know what? If you can press through that, if you can make up in your mind that I'm going to stand up, I'm on position. And while I'm here, sister, I'm not giving nothing dead. Ain't nothing dead here on me. Ain't nothing dead on me. <laughs> Devil is a lie. Ain't nothing here supposed to be dead. If you dead, then something. Mm -hmm. right. on, Ask for the resurrection power of God to stand up in you because nothing done dead. My praise ain't dead. My worship ain't dead. I'm a lively stone in the building by myself. Glory. If you help me, happen to help me, help me. But if you don't help me, I promise you I still got it. I promise you I still going to go on because he's done mighty things for me. He stood me up. He said, give me a praise. Give me an honor. Give me the glory that's due to me. Listen, that's the shield of faith. That's the weapon of warfare. Having, having shot your happiness, let me go back. Stand firm, therefore, having, I'm reading Ephesians, the sixth chapter, and the 14th verse. Stand firm, therefore, having girded up the loins with truth, and the truth is the word of God. The word of God will be that truth on the inside. Anything else coming contrary to the word of God, he said, let every man be a liar, but let God's word be true. They come up with all kind of stuff they're doing on the internet. You know a lot of people doing stuff and doing those old songs and dancing to them songs and doing all kind of stuff. And you know them songs talk, is, is, is talking about sex and all that kind of stuff and smoking drugs. Let every man be a liar. That ain't no new song in God. Where is God being glorified? That's right. That's right. Let every man be a liar, but let the truth of God dwell on the inside. I'm, I'm a new creature in Christ. He saved me. He brought me out. He said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. That old lyric that I used to have, that old sound, I used to have, I don't have that no more. I don't have no desire to hear that. I don't have no desire to bump my butt. <laughs> they say bump your booty. You know, that, that, that's what people say that on the record. Uh, what? What's, what's edifying about that? Bump your what? 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 And you getting glory out of that, you shouting and saying, praise God, we had a good time in church. Oh, Zion, what's the matter, Zion? I wasn't, pray, I wasn't brought up like this. What's the matter, oh, Zion? This ain't where we was brought up. We, 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 we done fell back. We went somewhere else. But stand on the truth, which is the word of God. And don't care who, who, who turns from it. Thy word is true. And when he come back, he's going to judge us according to what's written in the word. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Father. He said this is what he gave me this morning. And I wrote it down. Set your house in order. This is the bat vessel. Set your house in order. Know ye not that your body... This is the temple of God. This is the temple where God dwells. This is the, the body is the temple of God. Here's where he dwells in. 
So will I be the temple of God connected with reefer, connected with heroin, connected with, you know, all kind of stuff? If my body's a temple, how can God dwell in that temple? It's a temple of God. God is inside of there? I'm swimming through there. I don't see him. It's hard to see him. You, you sure you're in there? But know ye not that your body is the temple of God. So act like your body is the temple of God. I beseech thee. This is what the Lord gave me, Brother Pastor Eric, because I was coming to call you. He said, I beseech you, I beg you. Isn't that, see that? It just dropped. See that? The, the scripture just dropped out of my mind. See, the devil's alive. I beseech you, therefore, brother. Thank you, Daddy. By the mercy, because it just dropped. Beseech and everything just dropped out of my mind. But see, the Holy Ghost, bring it back. Bring it back, Holy Ghost. I beseech thee, therefore, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Sometimes when the enemy comes to snatch them scriptures because he don't want you to ponder on that word, that that's your strength, that's your deliverance is through the word of God. A lot of times people fail and fall away because they don't have the substance of the word on the inside. The word of God says, thy word have I hid in my heart. I brought up this since I'm 70 now. I brought up with this word since I was 20. So 50 years of this, I can pretty much quote the Bible. Thy word have I hid. I may not know where it's at, but it won't take me long to find it. On that, on, that, on that Google search, I can do just like that. But, and I promise you, just what God say, God, is just like what he say. But you present your body today, tomorrow. When you get up, Lord, I give my body, I give my mouth, I give my mind, I give my heart a living sacrifice. I don't let everything, anything go into my mind and think evil things and pornography and all kind of stuff and, you know, perverted things. And my mind, you got the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. The mind of Christ. Christ didn't think like that. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. Listen, I'm going back and forth. I beseech you, therefore, that you present your body a living sacrifice. At 70 years old, I want to be a sacrifice unto God. I want to show the world that you can live holy, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and don't have to dibble and dabble in sin. What shall I say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid that. So if he say he forbid it, he's going to give us enough power on the inside to keep us free and separate from sin. He can keep you unto him that's able to keep me from falling. See the scripture keep running to me? I ain't. He's able to keep me from falling. It's him on the inside. If he withdraw his spirit from me, then I'm going to live just like anybody else. We'll be just like anybody else. But with his spirit on the inside, he's able to keep us from falling because I hid the word in my heart. I meditate on the word day and night that I can be like that tree. Planted by the river of the water. That's what I've learned when I was 20 years old. They said, you can be like a tree. I said, like a tree? You mean like this big old tree here? Sometimes people, you know, I ain't wasn't all educated like y'all were. But I like this big old tree here. I can be like that tree whose roots run deep. I can be like that tree right there. Okay, well, I'm going to do just what that word say. I'm going to get this word down inside. I can be like that tree. I want to be like that tree, Lord. And so that's what comes the tree. The roots on the inside of it come forth. 